Welcome back to Mental Math. This integral appears in quantum physics and information theory. It looks simple, but there's no elementary solution. And here's the thing. Solving it is going to lead us somewhere completely unexpected. To crack this, we need one of the most powerful tools in calculus. Infinite series. Watch closely. The key is the denominator. 1 over 1 plus x can be expressed as an infinite geometric series. Recall the formula for an infinite geometric series. We can rewrite our term to match this pattern. 1 over 1 plus x is the same as 1 over 1 minus negative x. In the formula, our r is now negative x. Applying the formula, we get the sum of negative 1 to the power of n times x to the power of n. This is valid since our integral goes from 0 to 1. Now we substitute this back into our integral. Because this series converges uniformly, we can swap the integral and the summation. This transforms one impossible integral into infinitely many simpler ones. That's the first piece of magic. What we just did is turn a problem with no known formula into an infinite family of problems we can actually solve. Now we need to solve x to the power of n times natural log of x. This is perfect for integration by parts, though the bound at zero is tricky. We choose u to be natural log of x and dv to be x to the power of n. Differentiating and integrating gives us the parts. Plugging into the formula gives us this. The interesting part is the boundary term at zero. We need the limit as a approaches zero from the right. This gives zero times negative infinity, which is indeterminate. To use Le Hopital's rule, we rewrite this as a fraction. Negative infinity over positive infinity. Differentiate top and bottom with respect to a. After simplifying, we get negative a to the power of n plus 1, which goes to 0. So the lower bound contributes nothing. At the upper bound, x equals 1, and natural log of 1 is 0. So the entire boundary term vanishes. Sometimes the universe is kind to us. This is one of those moments. We're left with just this integral. Integrating x to the power of n gives x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1. Evaluating from 0 to 1 gives us 1 over n plus 1. So our inner integral equals negative 1 over n plus 1 squared. This is beautiful. Now watch what happens when we bring this back. Now we plug this back into our infinite sum. So our original integral equals this sum. We can combine the negative signs. Let me write this out. An alternating sum of reciprocal squares. Pause for a second. If you've studied advanced mathematics, you might recognize what's about to happen. This sum has a famous cousin. Here's the twist. This is connected to the Basel problem, one of the most famous problems in mathematics. Unsolved for almost a century, until Euler cracked it in 1734. The sum of all reciprocal squares equals pi squared over 6. Our integral just revealed a hidden door to mathematical history. Now, here's a trick that feels like cheating, but isn't. Let's split this into odd and even terms and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Factor one-fourth out of the even terms and we get back the original sum. So the even terms are one-fourth of the total, which means the odd terms are three-fourths. Our alternating sum is even terms minus odd terms. Plugging in what we found. One-fourth of pi squared over six minus three-fourths of pi squared over six. This simplifies to negative one-half times pi squared over six. And after this journey through infinite series, integration by parts, a dance with limits, and a surprise connection to the Basel problem, we arrive at negative pi squared over 12. Think about this for a moment. We started with logarithms and fractions. We never mentioned circles. Yet pi appeared. 
That's not a coincidence. That's the signature of deep mathematical structure. Thanks for watching. This is the kind of problem they ask in PhD qualifier exams. The fact that pi shows up here, connecting logarithms to circles through the Basel problem, is one of those moments that makes you realize mathematics is more interconnected than it first appears. If you enjoyed this journey, hit that like button and subscribe. Drop a comment if you caught the Basel connection before I revealed it. See you next time.